Here's a fascinating viral video from the sun. Yes, we did it. NASA's probe literally touched the sun. This is just amazing. It's like it's been cut right out of a sci-fi movie. What we see in this video is Parker spacecraft's view as it passes into the sun's upper atmosphere, the corona. The sun's corona is the outermost part of its atmosphere, usually hidden by the bright light of its surface, but can be seen during a total solar eclipse. This video is made out of individual images gathered between August 8 and 12 of 2021, while the probe was closest to the sun. What makes it even more breathtaking is the appearance of the Milky Way galaxy in the background. The video is captured by Parker Probe's Wide Field Imager for Solar Probe. The streaks probe is zooming through are coronal or helmet streamers, electrically charged gas and plasma that are made over active regions of the sun, closed magnetic loops that connect regions of opposite magnetic polarity on the sun. Electrons got captured in these loops and caused them to glow very brightly. Again, this is what we see around the sun during an eclipse. You can see streamers here as the probe flies above and below them inside the corona. Parker here is moving at speeds up to 91 miles or 147 kilometers per second, 328,830 miles or 529,200 kilometers per hour. We're not done with this video yet. Believe it or not, there are also planets visible in the background, including Earth. The NASA itself hasn't exactly identified the planets, but there are assumptions online made by astrophysicists. First, we see Venus, Mercury, and Mars. Then we see our Milky Way galaxy, and then Jupiter, Earth, and Saturn. This is just the beginning for the Parker probe. Every time the Parker passes close to the sun, it's going to fly through the solar corona. The spacecraft has still another 15 spots around the sun to travel to before completing its mission. This is a giant leap for solar science. Just like landing on the moon allowed scientists to understand how it was formed, this historic closest encounter to the sun would allow us to gather data that helps us to address some of the biggest questions about the sun and its dominance on the solar system. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and stay curious.